ऑल आय एम पूनम जाधव वर्किंग ॲज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कम्प्युटर इंजिनिअरिंग ए आय एस एस एम एस आय ओ आय टी पुढे टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू सी द टॉपिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ बायनरी रिलेशन विच कम्स अंडर डिस्क्रीट मॅथमॅटिक्स कोर्स लेट आर बी अ रिलेशन ऑन सेट ए फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी रिफ्लेक्सिव रिलेशन आर इज रिफ्लेक्सिव इफ फॉर एवरी एलिमेंट ए विच बिलॉंग्स टू द सेट ए ए इज रिलेटेड टू ए कंसिडर द एग्जाम्पल सेट ए हॅविंग द एलिमेंट्स ए बी अँड रिलेशन आर हॅविंग ए ए ए बी 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 ॲज रिलेशन देन आर इज रिफ्लेक्सिव यू कॅन सी इट फ्रॉम द डायग्राफ दॅट इज शोन वेअर ए इज रिलेटेड टू ए अँड बी इज रिलेटेड टू बी सेकंड इज इरिफ्लेक्सिव रिलेशन आर इज सेट टू बी इरिफ्लेक्सिव इफ फॉर एवरी एलिमेंट ए बिलॉंग्स टू सेट ए ए इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू ए कंसिडर द एग्जाम्पल वेअर अ सेट ए इज प्रेझेंट हॅविंग द वॅल्यूज एलिमेंट्स वन टू अँड अ रिलेशन वन टू टू वन देन आर इज इरिफ्लेक्सिव सिन्स वन वन टू टू does not belong to the relation symmetric relation a related to b then b related to a r is said to be symmetric if when whenever a is related to b then b is related to a let a be a set of people let a related to b if a is a friend of b then obviously b is related to a hence the relation of being friend is symmetric from the diagraph of the symmetric relation you can see a is related to b and b is related to a a symmetric relation r is said to be a symmetric if a relation r on a set a is called a symmetric if no y x is ha- is present in the relation when x y is belongs to that relation consider the example a equal to r the set of real numbers and let r be a relation greater than then b is greater than a and a is greater than b hence this relation is asymmetric anti symmetric relation a is related to b and b is related to a then a equal to b r is anti symmetric if whenever a is related to b and b is related to a then a equal to b let a equal to r and let r be the relation greater than or equal to then when b is greater than or equal to a and a is greater than or equal to b a equal to b hence greater than or equal to is an asymmetric relation transitive relation a to b b to c r is said to be transitive if whenever a is related to b and b is related to c then a is related to c let a is a set of triangles and let r be the relation of being congruent then for the triangle a b c belong to the set a and a related to b and b related to c therefore a is related to c consider the diagraph of the transitive relation a is related to b b is related to c so a is related to c equivalence relation a binary relation r on a set a is called as equivalence relation if it is reflexive symmetric and transitive diagraph of an equivalence relation will have the following characteristics every vertex will have loop if there is an arc from a to b then there should be an arc from b to a if there is an arc from a to b and one from b to c there should be an arc from a to c that is the transitive property consider the example 
a set having elements a b c d relation a a b a b b c c d d d c now we have to determine whether the relation r is equivalence relation or not r is reflexive since we have a a b b c c and d d which belong to the relation but r is not symmetric since b a belongs to r but a b does not belong to r so hence r is not a equivalence relation now example a having the elements a b c and it is the matrix given determine whether r is an equivalence relation or not so from the matrix we write down the relation and we get the relation as a a b b b c c b and c c r is reflexive since we have a a b b and c c r is symmetric since we have b c which is present in the relation and c b which is also present in the relation r is transitive since b b and b c so we have the relation b c b c and c b so we have the relation b b which belongs to r b c and c c so b c belongs to r c b and b b which which is giving us c b which is also belonging to r now c b and b c which belongs to r also give us c c is belonging to the relation r as we have all the three properties satisfied as the relation is reflexive it is symmetric and it is transitive hence r is a equivalence relation so in this video we have learned the properties of the relation thank you